Hey designers and welcome back. I have a fun video today because I'm gonna be doing something I've never done before. I'm gonna be shaving my face, yeah. So if you wanna see how this turns out, stick around. Well, welcome back you guys. A huge welcome to those of you that may be new here. I am Dina and you have landed at Divine Design. And on this channel, we do a bunch of fun stuff, crazy stuff like shaving our face. So hopefully you'll consider subscribing and staying around a while. I tell you, I'm a little nervous about this one. I really, really am. I've been wanting to do it for months, but haven't gotten up the nerve until today. So let's just see how this goes. Well, here you are up close and personal. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I'm going to be using this little straight edged razor right here. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty well. You can get these anywhere like Sephora, Ulta, Walmart, I believe Walgreens and CVS anywhere in their beauty section over there has them. They're actually eyebrow razors, but I keep seeing where everybody can use these for their faces. And I mentioned I wanted to do that. I got mine in a friend mail from Miss Lori J. I'm going to have Lori's channel linked for you down below in case you want to go check her out. And Lori, can you believe it? You sent me these months and months ago. <laughs> I'm just now getting the nerve to give it a try. Yeah, I'm a little nervous about it, but I gotta do it, you guys, because I've got so much fuzz on my face that I've noticed, especially recently, like when I get all my foundation and powders on, and the sunlight especially, it's making it look all dry and just bleh, because you can see all those hairs reflecting in the sun, so... It's time they gotta go, it's time they gotta go. So let's just jump right on in and start this thing. Well, I've watched a couple YouTube videos that says we gotta hold this at a 45 degree angle and use small strokes. Oh my word. <laughs> I don't know if, it, look at that. I hope I'm gonna be able to zoom in close enough that is, look at that! Ah! I don't know if you guys could see that fall down on my shirt or not. Wow! Okay, these things really work! They really work! Oh my goodness, I was much more of a woolly bear than I thought. And supposedly, this is really good for exfoliating the skin as well. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you guys see that? Let's see the hair laying on that shirt. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm gonna zoom in and try to see. Ah, and that's only from one section. See, now you know why. Wow, I don't, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that even if I zoom in because it's kind of light. It's just all that peach fuzz, but no one in my makeup was looking not so good. I hope I don't cut myself here. Yeah, I can just see this hair falling like crazy. Ah, uh, felt like I might have nicked myself right there. I don't see any blood though. It might have just hit one of my mini blemishes. Right up in here is where it's really bad. This is just amazing. It actually feels kind of therapeutic. Oh, it feels so nice and smooth. What I'm worried about is the hair growing back hard and full, like a beard. But everybody that I've seen doing it says it doesn't. So let's hope they're telling me the truth. Wow, that feels so different. I'm just going right under my neck too. Because to be honest with you, I'm really tired of using my tweezers to pull out those big whiskers. Just call me Catwoman. Up here is where I get really dark ones. Well, so far so good. No worries, that right there was already a skin blemish that I had. Now, I'm not really sure how high up to go. I'm just gonna keep going. Till I get rid of all that peach fuzz that looks so bad under that makeup because if you didn't get it all then it would look kind of weird to have smooth hairy, smooth hairy. but who knew 
I really didn't even know till maybe about a year and a half ago, maybe closer to two years now, that this was actually a thing. But I had always heard that it made the hair grow back stiffer, and I sure didn't want no big girl. I really wish that I would have been doing this sooner. Make sure those two little sides are even. And by the way, always start with your skin really nice and clean and then sterilize these razors when you're done. Alcohol will be just fine for that. Ooh, I hope it didn't go down too close to that eyebrow. That would be bad. My eyebrows are already thin enough. It feels very therapeutic, you guys. It actually feels very nice to the skin. Exfoliating it. Giving myself a little facial facial. I think that's going to be about as, about as brave as I'm going to get close to those eyebrows there. Now let's see if we can get around this nose. Not sure if my technique is right. And there are probably some of you guys who do this all the time. They're probably screaming at the screen. No, lady, no. Well, it feels nice and smooth. Yeah, feeling nice and smooth. I think I got it all. I think I did. <laughs> I guess time will tell whenever I get ready to put that makeup on. And we'll see what is left behind. And now from what I understand, we started with a clean surface. I'll be able to rinse this, get all those loose hairs off. And it's the perfect time to get any of your toners, moisturizers, and all that stuff. Because it's freshly exfoliated and some of the dry skin is gone. So there you have it, you guys. The first time. I gotta say, it feels a little... Not like it's stinging burning, but just like a little sting to it. So I don't know if that's normal. And once I get that moisturizer on there, it'll kind of kind of calm it down. But it kind of feels like it does anytime you exfoliate your skin. So I guess that's what it's supposed to feel like. Like it's not a pain. It just feels freshly exfoliated. So <laughs> that wasn't as bad as I thought. It went pretty easy and pretty quickly. And I know I'll get faster as time goes on. So again, Lori J, thank you so very much for sending this little contraption to me here. I think I'm going to like it and hopefully my makeup is going to start looking a little bit better. All right. I want to thank all of you so very much for sitting here with me for a few minutes today. And I want to remind you, you were created for purpose. So go be all you can be. I'll see you soon in the next video.